Hi guys! So I'm here today with some empties from fall. So let's take a look. Um, the windows are open because it's unseasonably warm today, so excuse any street noise. Okay, so the first thing I have is a mineral fusion hair repair conditioner for dry damaged hair. And this actually a guest at my house left, uh, so I'm not sure even where she got it, but this is really good. I really um, felt like this uh, did help to make my hair feel softer and less damaged. So I would uh, look into getting this again once I'm in the market for a new shampoo and conditioner. I have an e.l.f. daily brush cleaner. I love this stuff. Uh, this I use daily. Um, every day that I have time after I do my makeup, I just spray some of this on the brush, swirl it in a towel, and it just cleans it off. It's sort of like best for spot cleaning. But yeah, I love this and I already have another one on the go. This is Youth As We Know It Anti-Aging Moisture Cream. I love this. Um, I love it. I just wish it didn't cost $75. It's a really, really good moisturizer if that is in your budget. This is an Avon Extreme Volume Flexi Coat Mascara and it's waterproof. And I took this on a trip with me and I was not a fan of it. I felt like it didn't give me the length, separation, and curl that I like from a mascara, so I didn't use this up, but I am not going to use any more of it. This is NYC Smooth Skin Liquid Makeup in the color Nude. This is a really nice drugstore uh, foundation. Uh, I feel like this might even be my second one that I've emptied, but I think that this is a great alternative, like say you're on a trip and you realize you forgot foundation or uh, you just want something, like you don't wear foundation that much so you don't want to invest, but just for special occasions and times where you need a little bit more coverage, this is a really nice drugstore foundation. These are some Hollywood Secret oil blotting tissues. These are great. I always have oil blotting tissues with me. This is a L'Oreal Ideal Clean Wipes. These wipes are fine, but I definitely, there's other ones that I like more. I feel like these were not totally aggressive enough to get my makeup off, and they weren't quite wet enough. They're okay, but they're not my favorite wipes I've ever tried. This is from Harman Face Values, and this is a Renewing Under Eye Roller Ball. And the way I use this is actually, when I would take my, um, I take my makeup off every night before I go to bed, but a lot of times when I wake up the next morning, there is still traces of makeup under my eye that transfer during the night. And so I would use this in the morning under each eye and then just swipe away that extra residue with a cotton swab. So this was a really nice kind of trick for me. Uh, lately I've actually just been using Vaseline to do that. I know that's a very polarizing. Uh, thing, Vaseline, but I don't have a problem with it and it helps in the same way. But once I'm through with that, I would definitely get this again and the Harman Face Values one is very cheap. This is a Super Goop Sunscreen Oil. This was SPF 50. I didn't love the texture of this. It really is oily. I think this came in the Sephora Sun Safety Kit and of a lot of the things I've tried, this is not one of my favorites. Sorry again about the street noise. It's just so nice to have the windows open. I don't want to close them. This is another sun safety kit. Uh, this is Clarins UV Plus Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And this is just a very basic face sunscreen. I definitely don't think it's worth the Clarins price. But for getting it in a kit, I did use this up. And what I do with these little mini samples of sunscreen is... Um, I do my regular face makeup, which always has SPF in it, and then I'll use these little sunscreen samples for my chest and neck, and yeah, so that I'm always protected all the way, and on the backs of my hands. Sunscreen! This is a mini Dr. Jart Premium BB Cream. I love this stuff. Uh, I think it's a little too dark for me, but I do really love it, and it's so easy because it's all in one. It's definitely the best BB cream that I've ever tried. And I do have a slightly larger size of this that I've been using. 
This is an Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Power Serum, and I didn't really notice the serum doing anything, but it definitely felt nice, and I used it up, so I don't think I would repurchase it, but I didn't have any adverse reaction either. This is a Marc Jacobs Skyliner, what are they called, gel, one of the Marc Jacobs gel liners. This was a brown color that I got in a, as a hundred point perk or something, and I was not impressed with this. It's a, it's a roll up, so you can't sharpen it, so it was not quite precise enough. Uh, it didn't stay put on the water line, and then one day it just popped out of the container completely and smashed itself all over my purse. So I was not a fan of this and I would not purchase uh, a Marc Jacobs liner, especially for that price. Here's a little mini L'Oreal infallible setting spray. This is great. I think that this is almost as good as the Urban Decay setting spray. I prefer the smell of the Urban Decay one and I also prefer the sprayer. It's a better sprayer. So what I actually did is I got a larger size of this and I just poured it into my Urban Decay bottle and it's been working out great. So this is definitely a more affordable setting spray than the Urban Decay. The Urban Decay is $30. This is between $15 and $18 depending on the drugstore. Not for this size. This is a mini one but they have a larger size. But yeah this is great. The L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, I would definitely get this again when I next need setting spray. Here's another Bliss Youth As We Know It. This is the SPF Day Cream. I don't like this nearly as much as the night cream. I feel like it's, like the night cream feels really like almost a gel-like moussey formula, if that's even possible, and it just feels so nourishing. And the day one, I feel like almost created a little bit of redness in my skin. And I just, I don't know, I don't think that these are on par with each other. I much prefer the moisture cream and the SPF one I'm not so in love with. This is a L'Oreal mascara, uh, the Voluminous Miss Manga. I love this mascara. This just dried out, but this is a great drugstore mascara if you like really intense, dramatic, spidery lashes, which I do. This is great. Um, another trick I found with this is I have one eye that has better lashes than the other one. I just has longer, nicer lashes. So what I do is I do both my eyes with the same mascara and then I just put this on the less desirable side of my face and I find that it evens out and sort of symmetricals my face in a great way. So love this mascara and I think I have another one of these as a backup. This is an Estee Lauder lip conditioner. I use this all the way up. I don't know that I've ever used up a lip balm before I lost it. It's usually a race between using it up and losing it, and usually losing wins, but this I kept by my bedside and used, and this is a really nice lip balm, and I have a backup of this. This is an Urban Decay eyeshadow potion. This is in Greed, which is their gold shimmery one. This is so beautiful, but I do think that it's just a little gritty and chalky in consistency. Like I feel like it never looks totally blended when I use it. It's also pretty old. As you can see, this is their old packaging. So I've just decided to put this aside. I'm going to put it in my archive because I really like this packaging, but I'm not going to use the product anymore because I just feel like it's been too long. Ooh, I love this. This was from the Sun Safety Kit, I think, and this is Alginus Subl Sublime Defense. This is like a blurring sunscreen for daytime, and I love this and once again this is kind of out of my budget for a day moisturizer but I absolutely love it so I'm thinking that I might get this when Sephora has their 20% off sale because I loved it it had a really beautiful smoothing blurring effect on the skin and it has a SPF 30 so yes I love this Alginist Sublime Defense this, I just did my eyeliner declutter, which is part of my decluttering series, which you should definitely watch if you like decluttering videos. I know they're some of my favorite to watch. And this was something I decided to keep, but then I tried it later that day and decided to get rid of it. It's Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay. Uh, it's a liner. And actually, it's a lot like Greed. It's just a little bit sparkly and chalky, and I just I was trying to use it as an inner corner highlight and it just wasn't 
sitting right on my skin. So I decided to just throw this away. It's also a little bit old, so this eyeliner didn't make it. And then another eyeliner that I used up is another Urban Decay liner in Mildew, which this just dried out, but it's I can probably still get a swatch. It's a really nice forest green color. It's beautiful, but this is just old, and I used it one day, and my eyes got really irritated, so I think it's time to say goodbye to this one. This is a little mini La Lancome De Finicils. I love De Finicils. It's my absolute favorite mascara of all time, and this was a little travel size that I used. Uh, two more things. One is a fresh sugar lip polish. I love this. I use it in the shower and I think it makes a huge difference in the health of and appearance of my lips. I just put it on, scrub in the shower and rinse it off and I love it. I have since purchased a Tarte lip scrub because it's cheaper than this one. So we'll see how that goes. But I would definitely go back to this if I don't like the Tarte one because it, it really does a good job. And then finally, I have a tiny Caudalie serum which I also used, but this sample was just too small for me to tell really if it did anything at all. So those are all my empties from fall. I hope that that was somewhat interesting to you and definitely check out the declutter series and I have some other exciting uh, videos coming up soon too. So please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye!